Welcome back to Three Pound Fishing and welcome to the new, I don't know what we want to call it, the Three Pound Fishing Studio. We've got some tweaking to do, lights, all that great stuff, but this is not just an episode of me showing you this. I am going to be on the water. I'm going to be catching fish. We're going to be using all that great gadgets. Um, just a couple notes. We've got the East Tennessee Fishing Show coming up. Sniping Braid is going to be in the Bluff City Outdoors booth. So check out and look for the Bluff City Outdoors. It's going to be there all weekend. I think it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's Knoxville, Tennessee. This weekend, look for the Sniping Braid. That's where it's going to be on both sides of their, of their booths. Other exciting news is we're going to have hair jigs are coming back, folks. I got asked a thousand times about hair jigs. And right now on the website, the gumdrop is now available. And you're going to slowly start to see all of them become available on the website. I got asked about that a ton during Collinsville, Kansas City. So uh, anyway, a couple three pounders. Usually when I, I'm going to be doing these things, there's a good chance I'll be drinking a natural light. And uh, let's get out to the water. Isn't that going to be cool? I think it's going to be really cool. A place to do some live feeds, to interview people, to talk about topics that are hot and crappie fishing. So, yeah, I'll be looking for those. They're not going to be set schedule. Um, i rather do it spontaneous and it's all of a sudden it pops up and you're at the three pound fishing. Uh, we'll come up with some fancy name for it or something like that. So here are the two things we're going to talk about today. One is number one is, is color gain. A lot of people at the Collinsville and the Kansas City shows, especially Kansas City because I did presentations there and a lot of people were talking about color gain, color gain, color gain. So we're going to mess with that. We're going to see what it does. And I'm going to show that to you on Active Captain. Number two, what was number two? Number two was... Oh, I wanted to show you something. Check it out. So I called Garmin and first off, their customer service is out of this world. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just telling you straight up, every time I've called those people, they have taken care of me. I got a new transducer. You're gonna get to see the new image on the 16 inch. So check it out. What's really, what's really unique about it is it's a single cable. Check that out. It's a single cable now, not none of the double stuff. And um, well, folks, I'm not gonna lie. Picture got better. Um, now I am working off some old software, so I was considering updating it, but I'm kind of like, eh, I like my picture good enough. I don't think I'm going to mess with it, but the transducer without a doubt has helped. And, uh, well, you're going to see that here shortly. Let's go. Let's go. Let's put some fish in the boat. There's our first fish. It's a, it's a little guy. But you gotta love the bite in the winter time, man. It's aggressive. Middle of the day, still catching fish. Doesn't really matter. I'm trying to keep you guys down low there because the wind is howling about 15 mile an hour right now. Temperature is around 50. Water temperature is 53. So it's actually a nice day out here. Just the wind. I wish it would be calm. So we're just rolling this just straight over the crappie right now. have mine set at default three all right so there's my picture right there so simply, simply uh, I'm sorry go into menu sonar setup appearance color gain I have it on default we're gonna go ahead and jam it all the way up something around that what do you guys think 84 83 and let's fish with that for a little bit let's see if we can't catch a fish All right, since audio is not so great anyway, let's just break it down here. So I've got my defaults 
my uh, color gain set up on default and this is that image right here now this default is roughly around 60 so then I went ahead and I tweaked it and I turned it into 83 I believe here it is right here so a green I mean I, it, it really the brings up the sensitivity doesn't it it really makes it pop um, brighter I can see this being an advantage if you've got fish that are low to the ground so I went ahead and kept it on this uh, setting for the rest of this trip and actually it didn't bother me I don't see why I would change it back necessarily although I gotta tell you that I don't know if it's that drastic of a difference anyway but we shall see here in the future and uh, certainly somebody reach out and ask the question do you still have it on default? Do you still have it on 85, uh, 83%? Oh, but right now, that's what it's set at. That's where I'm going to keep it. And I appreciate the input during those presentations. We got that fish in the boat. Good fish right there. I'll let that guy go. Let's see what happens, folks. Since my active captain is not working, I want to see if I can't show this to you. So overall, a good picture. I think that transducer really did help. There's the fish that we just caught right here. I want to give you guys something here. Now, it's pretty loud. I mean, those fish are moving, and uh, still a good, still a good uh, picture. But some people said to bring this noise reject down to low, and see how squiggly that gets. I don't know. I don't. I don't care for that and I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So I got my TVG on low, um, that's noise reject on low, and the color gain turned up really high. And you know, I go in here and I take off that noise reject and I bring it back to high, to me, that's way more appealing. Um, but that's just me. So, I don't know folks, to each his own, right? Let's see if we can catch a couple more fish and uh, wanna remind everybody that uh, I want to remind everybody that sniping braid will be in that uh, Bluff City Outdoors booth at the East Tennessee show, and uh, we will be there at Grizzly Jig as well. So I'll tell you what, I pulled on some and I cut the crap out of my finger. It's driving me nuts right now. So uh, let's see if we can't put a couple more in the boat. Now, one thing that is important about this micro braid, and I'm just, you know, it is braid, it does wear. So you do need to strip off um, if you leave it on your boat like, like me. I'm brutal to things. I leave it on the boat, I let it weather, I let it turn absolute frost white, and I'll still fish with it. Yeah, baby. All right, folks, that's going to end it. I appreciate you guys watching. Good day on the water. Messing around with color gain. Um, overall, I don't think it makes that big of a difference, although I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Maybe I do like it. It's a little sharper. I won't say sharper. I'll say that it's, a, it's definitely brighter. So I'm going to keep it. That's, that's what I'm going to go with. Good fish, folks. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies.